Over 97% of people think dogs can become jealous, and in this video, I wanna cover the seven signs your Boston Terrier is jealous, coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder, and over there is Bella, my Boston of over a decade. Now, if you're new to this channel, definitely consider subscribing if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, and hear expert interviews from time to time. Today, we're talking about jealousy in Boston Terriers. Now, if you're somebody who already has a Boston, you've probably already come across this. With Bella, it would be her just kind of wedging between Emily and I in the couch, or maybe whining at me because I'm sitting right next to Emily. Now, like I said before, 97% of people think dogs can become jealous. That was from a stat that I gathered here on this YouTube channel. I had over 1,800 people participate. Now, if you're one of those people who think dogs can become jealous, hit the like button. If you're someone who doesn't think a dog can become jealous, hit that thumbs down button. Now that poll was just dogs in general. I wanted to narrow it down, you know, specifically on the Boston Terrier breed. So I went ahead and asked the Boston Terrier Society Twitter community. I asked specifically, does your Boston Terrier get jealous? And I had 115 votes. And out of those 115, 87% said yes. And if you wanna throw me in the mix, yes, Boston Terriers can become jealous. Now I wanted to go ahead and take it a step further. So I went ahead and pulled the Boston Terrier Society Facebook community. And I just asked a simple question. What are some signs that your Boston Terrier is jealous? I had over over 50 responses. Now, if you wanna see all 50, you can go check out the show notes below uh, to click a link over to Facebook. But I just pulled out five of the most interesting. So I wanna go quickly over these five before I go over the seven signs that your Boston Terrier is jealous. So jumping in here, one person had said, mine will completely wedge herself between me and anyone else that's close to me, including my phone. And that's exactly something that Bella does. Someone else said, he sets on my toddler to avoid my toddler sitting on my lap. Ugly, that's nothing Bella has done, but that's pretty funny. Another person had put, if I hug someone, my Boston Terrier starts screeching like a chicken and tries to get in between us. A fourth person said that their Boston Terrier pouts. And the last person here said, just sets not looking at me and ignoring me completely. Yeah, Bella will actually turn her back to us. So now I wanna jump into the research that I found out as far as like truly seven things that your Boston Terrier is gonna do where you can actually say, oh, I think they're jealous. And I went ahead and organized them in a way where number one is like the most severe and you're probably gonna to wanna to talk to a trainer about. So coming in at number seven is withdrawing. Now this can mean them actually leaving the room because they're upset with you, or it could mean, like I mentioned earlier, them turning their back on you, just ignoring you altogether. Any type of withdrawing like that, that could be a sign of jealousy. Number six is extra clingy. This could be them just wanting to be next to you by your side. Maybe they're, you know, jealous about a cat that's near you. This is them just wanting to be right next to you. Number five takes it a little bit further and this is pushy behavior. Number six is clingy, but number five is where they might actually push the cat out of the way. Or from my example, you know, Emily and I, if we're sitting on the couch and Bella just wedges herself right in between us, that is pushy type behavior and that could be a form of jealousy or at least a sign of jealousy. Number four is extra playful. Maybe they're bringing you their favorite toy. Maybe they're jumping up, trying to get your attention, doing some sort of trick. That could be a sign of jealousy. Number three is going bathroom indoors. For Bella, this actually happened, this was several years ago. Emily and I went to Alaska. We went for a couple weeks and we had one of our friends watch our house for us to basically babysit Bella over here. She had slept in our bed, you know, cause she basically lived here for two weeks and Bella had gotten up on the bed twice peed on the bed. And then whenever we got back home, it happened a couple more times where Bella would actually like grab my pillow and set it down just so she could pee on top of it. And if your Boston Terrier does this, this could be a sign of jealousy. Coming in at number two is whining. So if your Boston Terrier just sits there whining at you, you're gonna wanna assess the situation. Are you next to something? Are you next to someone? Are you looking at your phone? Are you just watching TV, kind of ignoring your Boston Terrier? This could be a sign of jealousy and you're just gonna wanna assess that particular situation. Coming in at number one, and this is the one you're gonna wanna talk to your trainer if it happens to manifest, and that is aggression. This is definitely the worst sign of jealousy and if it comes to this, you're gonna to wanna to talk to somebody, but if your Boston starts to kind of attack other dogs, maybe attack your cat, or even nip at your children, something of that nature because they are jealous, because they see you as almost their territory, you're gonna to wanna to do something about this immediately. Now, once again, with all seven of these, you are gonna to wanna to assess the situation individually because, you know, just isolated incidents, you don't know if it's actual jealousy. So you're gonna to wanna to see, am I near somebody? And that's what happens every single time. Like my case with Emily and I, even if we hugged Bella whenever she was a younger puppy, would try to jump in between our legs. And then once again, if we were on the couch, she would do it there. That was a clear form of her being jealous. Now, if this is something you wanna correct in your Boston Terrier, I am creating a video around that, and it's gonna be in the show notes below once it's available. So go check out 
out the show notes if you wanna learn more about how you can actually correct this behavior. If you're someone who loves Boston Terriers and you wanna help support this YouTube channel, you can do it in two different ways. One, you can actually become a member of this YouTube channel, just like the people who are at the end of these credits. Or number two, you can actually purchase merchandise from the Boston Terrier Society store. Information about these two options are gonna be down in the show notes below. So I do wanna say thanks to all of our supporters here on the Boston Terrier Society. And until next time, life is better with the Boston.